overweight YouTubers Boogie2988 and Wings of Redemption did the impossible and got into a ring to face each other in one of the most physically demanding sports out there, boxing. This match was an absolute spectacle to watch. I loved every bit of it, and despite Boogie2988 losing his match to Wings of Redemption, a lot of people still saw it as an absolute W for him for being able to even step into the ring, considering how unhealthy he has been in the past. There's so much positive feedback, in fact, that his name started trending on Twitter. After the fight, Boogie tweeted out, Credit where it's due. Wings of Redemption best my ass. I'm so proud of him. He truly is getting his redemption, and I am glad to be part of it. He was more prepared tonight, but I ain't done getting better. See you soon, Jordy. People out there who want to revel in my loss, I will allow it. But honestly, I couldn't be prouder. From a wheelchair to standing in a ring. And when I lost, I was still standing. Harley responds by saying, They are idiots and don't have the fucking guts. DS Parody responds by saying, As much as I want to poke fun of him, I honestly don't think I could do it. Good job to both Boogie and Wings. It takes real guts to try British food. Oh, and Box too, I guess. Boogie then tweets out, To all the people who said over the years I needed my ass beat, we square now? or what? The collector responds by saying, H3H3 is laughing at you. To which Boogie responds, yeah, sounds like something Ethan would do for sure. Not surprised one bit. Sports Gambler responds by saying, you could have at least fought back, bro. Boogie responds by saying, honestly, he hit me so hard with the first couple of Concord, I was stunned. Body went into survival mode, and I couldn't get myself to throw a punch. Sucked. AJ says, his journey to the ring is impressive. His performance, however, was not. Boogie responds by saying, honestly, I trained more than you think but Jordy hit me with some hard hits at the beginning. Body went into survival mode and said, just get through this. I literally couldn't get myself to throw a punch, and Jordy didn't let up to give me the chance. Good on him. Skull Hyde responds to Boogie by saying, whatever you do, Boogie, do not make a video apologizing for your performance. Boogie responds, not a chance. Boogie then tweets out, all right, last tweet for the day. Gonna go lie down. My face hurts. My muscles are cramping all over. My pants fell down and I lost my first boxing match. But I am in London. I fought... I survived. I stood through it, then walked back to my hotel. Best day of my life. Bob responds by saying, And DSP is at home, talking shit about Nintendo with no money. <laughs> Boogie quote tweets him and says, I may have lost my fight, but the biggest loser today is DSP, as usual. McBuckets responds to Boogie by saying, Talking all that shit just to get destroyed, laughing my ass off. Boogie responds by saying, To me, this fight was Andy Kaufman versus Jerry Lawler. I knew I was Andy, and I knew I was gonna get my neck broke, so I had to make the best show of it that I could, and I did. Scissor me Daddy Mac responds by saying, Please never try to compare either of you to Andy or Jerry. Boogie responds, I mean certainly not in terms of talent. Detective Seeds responds by saying, Are you able to say what the payouts were? I was curious how it was spread for showing up, winning slash losing. Boogie responds, Sure. 10k cash plus sponsor deals. Free travel and room to London. A few perks we can't yet disclose. All the self-respect I ever needed. After medicals gear and training, I came out negative I think in cash. Worth every penny. Yeah, yeah I'd respond by saying, wait, you only got 10k out of this? Bro, you got robbed. Keem made at least a million off you two, and he only gives you 10k? You should be making 80k minimum off that fight, even if you lost. Boogie quote tweets him and says, I will be honest, I wish it was a bigger bag we were offered. Even if he can't pay us more here, I know there will be future paydays down the road from him. Watch it happen. Jurgens responds to Yaya yeah by saying, Only he didn't throw a punch though. To which Boogie responds, I ate like 20 or so though. Kid behind the camera responds to Yaya yeah by saying, I agree with half of your statement. They should absolutely have gotten 80k, but Keem didn't make anything. He actually lost money here because he believed in the event. Keem's portion was the prelims, and he had a finite amount of money to work with, so he did what he could. Yaya responds, he had advertising deals, he didn't lose, and it's his brand. I wouldn't believe anything that man says. Bird Person Drama responds, I don't think you have any idea the sheer colossal effort and money that went into this even happening. No way Keem made bank. I don't know if he lost or broke even, but definitely didn't make bank. This was two 400 plus pound dudes that could barely walk being transformed into fighters. Yaya yeah, yeah responds, lol, if he made bank, he wouldn't outright say, unless pressured to disclose how much he generated. It's scamming people 101. Kid behind the camera responds, you know this wasn't Keem's event, right? It was KSI's. Keem only booked the fights for the prelim with the budget he was given, a budget he put his own money into. Boogie responds by saying, yeah, I have it on good authority Keem Star lost money on this event. 
but he is building a brand, and that's worth spending money on. Plus, Keem owes us one now. I'm sure there will be more money down the road. Jack responds by saying, Boogie, is it surreal having all this attention on you at the moment? Crazy how low you felt not long ago, and now you are on this high. Boogie responds, it's amazing, and I hope and pray it's teaching some folks that even if they take a beating, they can keep on going. If one person was inspired to keep their chin up and keep moving forward, I will take all the beatings I can. Boogie then tweets out a picture of him and the referee who looks like Walter White from Breaking Bad and captions it by saying, I'm still mad that Heisenberg stopped my fight so he could go cook meth. Here's the truth. Jordy had scored enough points to where the only way I could win was a knockout. Rather than giving me that chance, he didn't think it was possible, he ended it sending me back to my locker room instead of the hospital. He made the right call. Teddy responds by saying, I don't understand. After the 15th unanswered punch to your face, he had to call it? Your reaction was, wow. Did you want to continue until he knocked you out? Still mad respect room going in there, but doing zero sparring in practice made him trounce you. Boogie responds, just cracking jokes. Ref did the right thing. Jordy had enough points to win by decision. Only hope I had was knockout, and he knew it wasn't happening. Teddy responds, I like you, man, but to think there was any hope of a knockout is a massive cope. Your only odds at winning would be if he had a sudden aneurysm or heart attack of his own doing. You were cowering away from punches. A few hours of professional training, it would have been different. Boogie responds, I literally said the ref knew it wasn't happening, man. ODP34 says, The fight was stopped too soon, I thought. Kiran responds, The ref made the right call to stop the fight. Boogie was wasn't properly defending himself and taking too many shots to the head. Boogie responds, yeah. Going back and looking at the tape, he kept me from serious injury. Jordy had scored enough points to where the only way I was going to win was KO, and ref decided that wasn't going to happen. Better to send me back to my locker room than to the hospital. Beast from the Sea says, How's the face today? You took a few clean ones. Boogie responds, Sore, but not as bad as my neck. Jordy aimed for my forehead, so thankfully he didn't break my teeth or nose. Pimo responds to Boogie by saying, But Boog, in his defense, it looked like you weren't even trying, bud. At every first punch of every of Wing's combos, you would close your eyes and take them all in. Ref was probably trying to help you by getting it over with. I hope this ain't mean. Love you. Boogie responds, it ain't, and you were right. I froze and Wings didn't let up. PDZ says, embarrassed yourself so much, lol. Loved watching you get beaten up. Boogie responds, hey man, I don't know what's so bad in your life that it has gotten you this angry, but I hope it gets better. Soundwave quote tweets Boogie and says, or was it because you got two different standing eight counts on you because you didn't defend yourself even once and ate 90% of the punches thrown at you? Boogie responds, I mean, it could be both. Boogie then tweets out, the real reason I lost my boxing match is that they didn't let me bring my gun to London. What's England got against Americans with guns? It's not like we overthrew their tyranny or anything. What the fuck? Boogie then tweets out a picture of him getting pummeled in the face and says, new profile pic. Pat responds by saying, be honest, you really didn't expect him to hit that hard, huh? Boogie responds, sneak preview, I did not. In my practice sessions, no one bit me that hard. He was a fucking house. Stunned the shit out of my right away. Body went into defense mode and couldn't recover. Now moving over to the tweets that Jordy, aka Wings of Redemption made, his first tweet says, I can say I beat a man's pants off. Big respect to Boogie2988, should start calling him the the jugger bugs. Boogie responds, dude, you punched my ticket 10 times. I am really proud of you. You had the advantage, but when that first hit landed, I was stunned and never recovered. You rocked me. Take the win. You deserve it, bro. The GoFund responds by saying, how are you feeling, Boogie? After the fight, does your face hurt much? Boogie responds, not too bad, actually. Neck is sore. Face sting. Otherwise, I am happy as a clam. Jordy then also updates his profile pic of him standing victoriously with his boxing shorts on. Sleepy responds by saying, undefeated heavyweight champ. Jordy responds, Titan weight. Jordy then tweets out, Homies, I'm flat out exhausted and still got three hour drive until home. I'm glad Kelly is driving. I haven't slept since the boogie fight. Boogie responds, Glad you landed safe, pimp. Let's work on a project when we are both rested and I am healed. Only a fact responds to Wings by saying, You did well, man. I actually think you would stand a decent chance boxing against other COD YouTubers. Wings responds, I'm an old man who needs back surgery. McGravy07 tweets out, Some Wings fans showed up wearing shirts with pictures of wings carrying a gun and a shout out Sean Ranklin shirt. Boogie responds, the man has learned to lean into the meme and become it. Love that for him. I tweeted out, Boogie and Wings of Redemption crushed it. Most entertaining fight in YouTube boxing history. Shout out to them and Keemstar for making this happen. Harley responds, would have been sick if one of them fell out of the ring. Jordy responds by saying, I knocked his pants off. Are you not entertained? Lol. Paul Bamba says, whooped Boogie2988 candy ass. 
All jokes aside, big shout out to both guys for attacking goals in and out of the ring. As for Wings of Redemption, if and when he does return, the result won't change. Wings responds, I did the best I could for a tired old fat man. Heemstar tweets out, I have never been so proud. They did it! They did it! Boogie and Wings pulled in 400,000 concurrent viewers on three official streams. Could be closer to 1 million live concurrent if the unofficial react streams were calculated. All creators have permission to use the full fight footage for reactions. Update. Boogie has no serious injuries. Frank Castle then responds, that's too bad. Wavy Websurf says, congrats Wings of Redemption for the W, and props to Boogie as well for putting on a hell of a show. Willie Mac Show says, rematch! Teach Boogie to throw a punch. People saying Boogie didn't train. Come on fam, man lost so much weight his pants didn't fit. Wings just knew how to throw a better punch. We need a part two where Boogie has sparring and training. Mudahar says, bro. Wings of Redemption killed it in that ring. Paul Bamba says, Wings of Redemption did his thing tonight. Second round KO. Showed poise and a great shot selection. Big ups to him. Honored to have coached you for the fight, man. The quartering says, Huge respect to Boogie2988 for all the firsts that happened today. You flew to a different country, stood in the ring, and didn't die. The fight was whatever. It's all the other stuff that you'll remember. If there is ever a next time, buddy, remember to punch. Jack Randall says, This man went from being in a wheelchair to fighting in a boxing match in months. As someone who spent half of his 20s in a hospital bed, I can't tell you how much he's inspired me today. I'll beat my castic fibrosis. True Jordy quote tweets Boogie and says, so proud of this guy. It's easy to keep going when you're winning the fight, but when you're the one getting the ass kicking, it's the hardest. And you kept going despite the giant dude hitting you so hard. Well done Boogie, you took it like a man and didn't go down. Moby says, My man Boogie's the demon of taking concussive hits and powering through standing. Every single E slash act would be on the floor in one. Imagine the sheer resolve, accompanied with future exploration of the sport. I suggest a rematch in a year. Harley posts this Twitter video and says, That actually fucking happened! <laughs> Boogie responds, I love to eat a lot, but Wings fed me my teeth. Kid behind the camera says, Boogie and Wings stole the show. Give both of them bonuses. Games Nosh says, Boogie didn't get a single hit in. His shorts fell down, and they had to tape them to his body to stop it from happening again, laughing my ass off. Well done, Wings. Boogie straight up admitted he put in zero effort to prepare. He said he just showed up for the money. He's such a failure. Pimp Master Broda says, Glad to see Boogie and Wings be some real men and get paid for it, unlike someone we know, showing a picture of Dark Side Phil. And that is about it for the discussion on Twitter surrounding the Boogie vs. Wings boxing match. If you want to see the full thing, I will leave it in the link in the description below. It's definitely interesting to watch, and I find it amazing that this ever even happened. It's one of those matchups that you think in your head, wouldn't this be funny if this actually happened, but you never actually think it will happen, but it actually did happen. I'd love to know what your thoughts on all of this are in the comment section below. So if you have time to leave a comment, be sure to do so, and subscribe to this channel with notifications on if you want to keep up to date with more Twitter news. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.